Hey, I got a short video for you guys today. Uh, this is going to be how to take a front wheel off of a John Deere series tractor. This particular tractor is an X500 series, uh, but this is gonna be a similar procedure for any of the John Deere riding lawn tractors. Why would you wanna take the wheel off of your tractor? Probably because you ran over something and now you have a flat tire to fix. That's what I did. First step is you have to slide your jack underneath the front frame rail section. I have an extra little hockey puck in there just for extra protection. And we just lift up until the tire is off the ground, which there we are right there. Okay, so the, now that the tire is off the ground, you have this cap right here that has to come off. And the easiest way that I like to do this is just get a pry bar kind of right on an edge, kind of start prying, loosening it up for a few different spots. And sure enough, it'll pop right off. It's just a pressure fit thing. It goes right back on, not a big deal. And this is what you are left with. So now we got to get this clip off of here. You see it's open on the bottom, right? So that means it slides up and out. You can use a flat bladed screwdriver or I have this uh, trim removal tool. I'm gonna to attempt to do this one handed here, but you just kind of have to pry it and work it up. Try not to lose it. There it is. And right there. So once that is off, we'll set that to the side. And then you have this, that comes off too. So some of the wheels are a little bit trickier to come off than others. Uh, this one required a little bit of jostling and some light tapping from the backside. Uh, it, it really wasn't too bad, but uh, this side for some reason came off a lot harder than the other side and yours might be even more difficult, but you'll get it. And there it is, wheel is off. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And then uh, you can either just take this loose wheel to uh, you know your John Deere dealer, have them you know replace the the tube, the tire, whatever. Uh, so I did that this morning, and this is what happened to mine right here. I uh, brushed up against something, and it you know scraped a big scratch down the side, and then actually punctured right right through here. Now they did not have this particular tire in stock. Um, so I was forced to just uh, go with the tube today. It seems to be holding, but uh, this is not a great repair. So I'm going to actually be ordering up a, a new tire and I'll be replacing this. So they put the tube in for me. Uh, it's Again, it's holding air right now. I'm gonna try it out for a little bit. The grass is still growing, so I'm hoping to get a mow in this weekend, but I am gonna be ordering up a new tire to uh, fix that. and have a nice new setup all the way around. Now the install process is just uh, the exact opposite. So you do everything in reverse. You take your wheel, trying to do this one handed, slide it right on. A little friction fit there. Not so easy to film one handed, but it just slides right on. And then you have your washer piece that goes there. And then the retaining clip goes in over the top. Oh, this is gonna be hard to do one-handed, hang on. So by using a needle nose pliers, I'm pinning one jaw against the axle and the other against the clip. And then I'm just squeezing to re-engage that clip and get that back on there where it should be. Now the plastic cap goes right back on too. That's not a big deal. Uh, you can just hit it on with your hand. I'm also using a plastic dead blow hammer just to make sure that it gets seated all the way and isn't gonna come off on me. All right, so we just put both wheels back on and we're just gonna give the jack a twist and then we'll be back on the ground. So there it is, a very easy, very quick, very simple project. Anyone can do it with basic tools. When I get my new tire, I'll probably make another video about how to actually change the tire and get the tube off the wheel and actually do a, a full swap. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. Thanks for watching.